president of the Social Security System, executive vice president, Ms. Susie Bugante, and Mr. Boyd P. Pangalinan, Ms. Cynthia Garzo, uh, Dr. Godwin, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Magadan Hapon Saim Olahat. I am very happy to be here uh, on this occasion to see, uh, to meet with you, to visit uh, this wonderful facility that helps take care of the people of the Philippines and to look at the photos that my good friend George is going to be the judge of. The judge of. Uh, there's so many and they're all beautiful. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Magagandang Larawan. So, it is a pleasure to be here. I'm about to leave the Philippines, but I leave here knowing, as the Secretary of Tourism always reminds us, that it is more fun in the Philippines. And I've been able to visit most provinces and see uh, with my own two eyes uh, the beauty that is the Philippines. Many in America, we think of the Philippines, we think of great singers. And that has been uh, once again uh, demonstrated by the two sets of performers we had today. Let's give them another round of applause. And uh, the Philippine tenors, for me, it was so wonderful. Having, being from my hometown of New York, their son Broadway tunes made me feel the homesick. I didn't get up and sing because, of course, I was one of two people in my elementary school not allowed in the Greek club. So I did not want you to cry this afternoon on a Friday. Uh, but I think the goal of 10 million in 2016 is laudable and achievable. I have uh, recently visited Bohol. And when I think and read about the history of Bohol, it was an NPA area, very strong. And the people of Bohol, uh, with the assistance of the government of the Philippines and USAID, were, help, were able to help change that image and change the reality through tourism. They made the Chocolate Hills a place to go, the Tarsiers a place to see, the natural foods. The first time I've had bougainvillea ate as a salad, it was a salad. No, tell it up. It's really true. And it was a tremendous place that I'll never forget. But they did that through tourism and everybody had a job. From the, the owners, the, the women who were selling, even kids selling trinkets, everybody was employed. People were singing, you could do the zip line. Everybody had an opportunity. So that's what tourism gives. One of the challenges we have in the United States that you're facing here also is how inclusive growth. How do you employ almost the unemployable? But everybody has a talent. And through tourism, the talents of many come out. I recently visited Siem Reap in Cambodia. I hadn't been in Cambodia for 12 years. And it was the killing fields the last time I was there. And now it's the tourism fields. Siem Reap itself has over 6 million tourists a year. One city, one city. And when you look at the Philippines, without a doubt, without a doubt, there are more beautiful beaches here than any place else I've been. I was just last weekend in Puerto Princesa to see the lovely underground river. Um, what is better? What is more unique? Of course, you also have a few uh, challenges there because culturally, Philippines and Americans, English sometimes doesn't, uh, doesn't work. I thought it was beautiful. I was having a great time, but our tour guide made it short work. I wanted to know why. When we went in, he said there are a lot of bats. So keep your head down, or the bats may visit you. And uh, with some droppings. So I, I kept silent the whole time. He thought I didn't like it. So we, we, we didn't have the full tour, but I will definitely go back. And I encourage all of you to go back. You know, I've been lucky. I've gone the most, I've been to Puerto Princesa, I've been to Barakai, to Matangas, to Bajo, to Bacol, all over. The prettiest beach I've seen, though, 
really that I've had the opportunity to see is Santa Cruz. <coughs> Santa Cruz. <laughs> off of Zamboanga. La Ciudad Mas Bonita. Huh? Pink, it is pink, right? I always tell people. Uh, my good friend, the former mayor, the congressman, Lobergat, always told me it was safe to go. And it was, because I have 200 U.S. Marines with me. Uh, <laughs> you might have a different outcome. But when you look at the potential of the Philippines, it's through places like Santa Cruz. If we can get the president's framework uh, peace agreement done, people can go to Santa Cruz. It is lovely. Now the last place I'll tell you about is a place that you have not been. It is in, it is in uh, uh, Batangas. It's not wealthy, it's not well known, it's not, not beautiful. I went up there with our USAID director, Gloria Steele, who's our own, very own Balak Bayan, and we had been invited by a group of kids between the ages of 12 and 15. And they had sent us a letter that they had handwritten because they wanted to make a little island a place for tourism. We said, well, I don't know whether we should go, Gloria. This, is this going to work? And uh, we were told we had a Peace Corps volunteer there. So we said, let's the Peace We sent the Peace Corps volunteer there. He saw uh, mangrove. He saw kids that were cleaning up this island themselves. So we went up there. We went swimming with them. They could first time they could see coral. They thought coral was white. We went under and they could see the beautiful coral that you have here. We helped them clean up the islet. We planted mangroves. And they felt so, so proud. So, so proud of their achievements. Now, that's not going to be a place that many people are going to go, you think. But maybe it can. Maybe, maybe it can. Because if you really were listening to the Philippine tenors, they said, walk on. Walk on. Always believe. Never give up. Kaya pa. Kaya pa. So those young boys and girls, they taught us what can be done. That even in a little island in Batangas that's not going to be thought of, they are proud Filipinos and they want people to come. So we can do that for the entire Philippines with your help. And I know many of my American friends, when they come here, they've never been here, they go, mm, them. With half their half their trip, they're going. Can we extend our trip? Can we, where else can we go? What more can we buy? They're having the times of their lives here. So you're sitting on a gold mine, sitting on a gold mine. You're sitting on flowers that just have to bloom. So please let it bloom. And I hope very much to come back and see more than 10 million tourists to be that 10 million. In, the over 10 million tourists in 2016. And lastly, lastly, I have learned now, for those of you who speak Spanish, anybody speak Spanish? You know what they call mother-in-law in Spanish? La suegra. <laughs> if you don't speak Spanish, you can understand la suegra. So nanai is la suegra. Taco, taco. So I was coming. Thank you so very much.